Hey everybody! Hey, today I was looking for images uh, in Google and I came across this book cover for one of my favorite books called The Stand by Stephen King. Um, this is a, a comic book cover, but I thought to myself, I wonder how quick I could make this cover in the creator. So I decided to, to, to test it and I'm going to show you in real time to see um, how close I can come to this to this cover using the creator. So let's let's try it. So the first thing I notice, it's going to be a rectangular canvas. So I'm going to hop into the creator and I'm going to start um, with a new template and I'm going to make it rectangular. Okay. And the second thing I see is a background that probably should be put in first. So what I'm about to do is something that I'm not going to tell you that you should do because I'm going to be taking graphics off of Google and I don't know if they're copywritten, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I see a, uh, a mountain sunset. So I'm gonna type in mountain sunset. I get a whole bunch of images. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the images tab and there's some pretty, pretty good ones. Let's try this one. Um, Okay, well, not there. Let's scroll a little bit to see something that's similar. This is, all right, this is kind of close to this. I want a light background with a dark, a dark bottom. So I'm going to click on this one, and let's open it. All right, close enough for what I need for this. I'm going to drag this to my desktop. It's right here, okay. Um, and now in the creator, I'm going to import it. So hit uh, import PNG, find it, which I know it's here, and it's super huge because I didn't resize it. So let's scale it a little bit. So we'll probably scale it pretty good. All right, we'll bring it about here, and the background is is showing here. So I think I'm going to want to format the color of the canvas by clicking on the canvas, uh, hitting format canvas, and I'm going to use this little eyedropper tool, the color picker. I'm going to select the very bottom of this image and boom, it, the canvas will match it. So it looks like it's one big image. All right, so far so good. I'm going to uncheck the eyedropper so that we don't accidentally select another color. All right, so, so far we have our background. Now we got to find our zombie kind of character. Now this is obviously a a character in the book, so I'm not going to be able to find him on Google. Um, but we're going to find, for the testing purposes, I, I want to look for something similar. So I guess I'm going to look for, I don't know, zombie or something. So I want to find look for zombie PNG, uh, and I want to say PNG because I want it to be a transparent zombie, okay? A transparent background. So I get a couple of images I can choose from. I'm going to go to the Images tab and see if I can find something. Uh, and you'll notice the checker background shows me that it is transparent. So I'm going to take this guy again to my desktop. And I'm going to bring him in. Import as Zombie PNG. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. And then I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Okay, now the background, I think I want more of the top than the bottom. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and bring this down a little bit more. And now he fits there. All right, so far so good. Uh, he's a little bit darker than he is. So let's go to the colorize feature really quick. And let's see if I can make him a little bit darker. See if that looks any... Eh, it's not bad. Okay, for this testing purposes, let's let's keep it for now. Now we need to put uh, the stand by Stephen King. So I'm going to come up here and all caps the stand and bring that here and let's make it as big as we can and squish the letters a little bit. Put it right about here. Let's make it fit. And we're going to bring that back a little bit so the zombie heads in front of it. I don't know if I need him dark. I think I'm going to have him normal color 
for now. All right, the stand, and I think I want to make it uh, as wide as I can. Now this probably isn't the correct font, but for now it looks, it's pretty good. And we need uh, Stephen King's name up here because it's his book. So in caps again, I'm going to write Stephen King. And set this font to something like I see in... This is more like... There we go. Perfect. Uh, Claire Medium. And let's make it right above... There we go. All right. So far, it's looking pretty cool. Pretty cool. And now down here, this chapter, this comic... Uh, series is called Captain Trips. That was the super flu virus that wiped out the, the world. You should read this book if you haven't. <laughs> it's really good. Um, okay, Captain Trips. So let's uh, let's write Captain Trips. I notice this is not in all caps. So I'm going to write Captain Trips. And let's bring this down here. And I see it's black text with a red outline and uh, a red glow. So let's find a font that kind of works. I'm not sure I have the, the exact font built into the, to the creator, but we can look pretty close. Uh, let's try, um, let's see what that does. Let's make it bigger and we'll squish the letters a little bit here. It's a little hard to see. Okay, I don't like dope jam. I'm gonna just try Okay, for just for now, that looks that that's fine. <laughs> it's not as scary as as this fun is, but maybe if we make it black with a red outline, it'll be scary. So let's try that. We're gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna select a color that's black, and the outline is going to be red. And let's make it a little thicker. And then to get the glow, we're going to add a drop shadow that's also red. And we're going to set the distance so that it's right smack behind the letters. Make the blur radius pretty big. All right, that works except for the scary font. But it's looking pretty cool. So really quick, because I like to be perfect about things, <laughs> I want to get that darn font. And all right, well, that kind of works. But... I think it's harder to see. Maybe let's set the outline a little bit more. All right. Well, there's our comic book cover. Oh, uh, one more thing we want to put. Um, I kind of like it in white, but this has kind of a texture inside the word. So let's run over to Google again one more time. And let's find a black texture. This looks pretty good. Might be hard to see. Scroll for a second. Let's find. Um, yeah, that might work. It's not big enough, though. Okay. So let's go back really quick. All right, let's try this. I'm going to drag it to the desktop. It might be super big, so it might not work, but let's try it. Click on the word, the stand. And then we're going to drag this texture from our desktop over onto the text. And then we're going to try and find it so that we can... It might be too big to show that... You know, there's, there's some of the texture in it. You can kind of see it. Eh, it gives it some, some, some flavor, I guess. Uh, maybe if I... Oops. Maybe if I format the text a little tighter make it just a little bit bigger and then of course this uh, Stephen King is a gradient with it looks like um, darker gray to lighter gray so I'm not sure that's gonna look good with our particular yellow background but let's just try that really quick so I'm gonna go over to color gradient and I'm gonna set the first gradient to a dark gray and the other gradient to a light gray scale it yeah it doesn't look as good um, and I could try and outline it with white but yeah I don't 
like that. I like no outline and I like the white that we have because our background's just a little bit different. So I'm gonna go back to color, solid, and I actually liked the white stand, but maybe if we, oh, let's try a drop shadow really quick. Shadow on, set the shadow down about here, turn off the blur, and then set the opacity of the shadow way, way down. How's that? Kind of cool. Maybe if we outline the word the stand really quick in a very thin. Yeah, that might work a little better, I think. And then we'll set the opacity of the outline down just a bit so it's not so glaring. There we go. That is our cool comic book cover in, I don't know, about 10 minutes. So I'm going to export it. Um, export. Where's the export? Export. Let's export it as a PNG image. Those are nicer graphics. Uh, comic cover the stand. And then let's hide all this stuff. There we go. There's our comic book cover. All right. Now you go out and make your own comic cover. <laughs> Hope you like this tutorial. And go read this book. It's awesome.